I think they've got a very good record from, from what the manager's been saying. They've got quite a good record. They're unbeaten since December so or something like that, or maybe one loss since December. So they're a very, very good side. Obviously, they've lost a couple or three of their, their, some of their best players. But, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a very difficult game. You know, it doesn't matter where teams are in the league and League 2. It just, you know, you, you playing against them and, you know, the bottom team, I think, was it Leighton Orient? The second bottom beat Newport 4-0. So, so the, the league table doesn't really mean anything in that sense. But... No, it'll be a difficult game. Luckily, we're at home, so there's no travelling involved. We've, we've been up there when you know when it was nicer, because it's not the nicest place to get up there. No, and we've obviously got the two back-to-back -back games at home, so I think it's nice to not have to travel, especially after the, that crawly midweek last week and then the Hartlepool on Saturday. So it'd be nice to just have a, a, a couple of home games as well. Yeah, as you mentioned, it is back-to-back -back home games for City. Mm. Uh, the home form has improved with the club on an eighth game unbeaten run. How likely and important is it? That except pick up six points from the Stanley and Cheltenham games if you want to challenge the top three. I think that's you know that's that's got to be a given the six points within the next couple of games because if we if we don't make them we you just start sort of drifting further and further away and you, we don't really want to be doing that we want to make sure we're right in it and you know week in week out we want teams to look at it and say oh Exeter's still in there Exeter's still in there that's what we want them doing rather than think oh they're gone because a lot of the teams now will start to fall off or actually kick on and we want to be that team that kicks on. So if you look at all the teams that got promoted, I think last year Wimbledon had a really good run towards the end of the season. I think the year before that was Stephen Edge or somebody like that. When I was at Torquay, it was Crew. So there's always the teams that have that run towards the end of the season end up you know, being in the playoffs. So that's, yeah.